Now, the holiday season is officially underway, and Love Park has once again transformed into the Christmas Village. Of course, plenty of vendors, food, and entertainment for you to check out. And Sophia Carrera is joining us this morning to kind of walk us through it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Look at you, all set up <laughs> like a Fox right 29 reporter. Awesome. All right, tell us what we can expect when people come to visit Christmas Village this year. So um, right at the moment, we're doing our last preparations on our stage um, for our great welcome back ceremony. Um, it will take place this afternoon at 3 p.m. Uh, we will have a great program and we're having a lot of international vendors this year as well. <laughs> I like it a lot. Now there's a couple locations, right? So it's spread out across a couple different areas. Is that correct? So you're doing it at Christmas Village, but also across the street at City Hall. There's more than one spot. Ah, right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're located at Love Park, but we also have a section um, at City Hall Courtyard. Um, we're having a new food court this year with a double-decker carousel there. And uh, we're also located um, at the Northport section of City Hall, um, where you can find our Ferris wheel presented by T-Mobile. I like it. So what's brand new for this year? Um, this year, <laughs> I already mentioned it, but this year we're having a double-decker carousel in Courtyard. We're having a lot of food options there. We're having the raclette booth, Belgian fries over there, and a German Schwenkgrill, where you can uh, buy German Bratwurst <laughs> and eat it. We're having a new seating area, so City Hall Courtyard is definitely a place to be this year. Sounds good. Now, you've and, got some... Um, You've got some people with you, right? So let's let's introduce us to some of the folks. Who's up first? Yes, right. Um, here are some of our vendors this year. Um, this is Felicia. Felicia, tell us something about your role. Hi, yes, I'm Felicia Williams with Magic Makers Marketing Collective, and also I am the owner of Ginger Tea. So Magic Makers Marketing Collective has put together um, this container sponsored by the Department of Commerce to make sure that black and brown vendors have an opportunity to vend this season. So Ginger Tea is one of the vendors this year. People can shop online or come down to Christmas Village to buy our products, and they're also available at gingertea.com. That's so nice. nice. <laughs> and we're having two other vendors here as well, two other wonderful women with me. Um, so today, um, Pound Cake is here in uh, the booth. Tell us a little bit about you. Hi, I'm Pam Thornton. I'm the owner of Pound Cake Heaven, and we're here at the Christmas Village to offer you some of our flavors. We're one of the first bakeries that offer you sliced cakes. And we also do designer cakes, uh, as well as birthday cakes, any kind of cakes you might like. So come on down and taste some of our flavors. I am it all looks so in delicious. on the pound cake. I am all in. Now, who else <laughs> do you have with you? They look so delicious. <laughs> and I'm here. Hi, so I'm representing Martian Maine. We are a natural hair and lifestyle boutique located on 4th and South, and we'll be at Christmas Village December 19th through the 22nd. We'll be vending with Our Village, which is a local black-owned skincare line that we also carry in store. And we'll be here with a lot of our in-house products, our really popular hair and body butter, which was recently featured on the Drew Barrymore Show. And one of our newer products is this body oil that'll also be available in a variety of fragrances and scents. So come down to Christmas Village, check out some of the natural hair products we have and shop small and black owned. Sophia, what else could I say to that? <laughs> can you do me a favor and go back to Felicia and ask her how did the whole collective get started? Okay, Felicia, can you tell us a little bit how the collect, uh, whole collective started? Yes, so Magic Makers Marketing Collective was started by me and my partner, Brittany Coleman. We've actually been friends since we were five years old. Brittany has a wealth of experience in marketing, and I bring my events background. I also produce the Juneteenth Parade and Festival here in Philadelphia. And so we decided to come together and tackle bigger projects, but we're marketing for good, which means we only take on social impact pro um, projects, and this is one of them. We wanted to make sure that black and brown vendors have representation at this year's Christmas Village at an affordable price. I think it's good. I am coming down there to get my shopping on. Sophia, thank you so much for doing that. It looks like you have a career. Do you want to be a reporter? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Why not? You got it. All right, so we will sign off from there. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon.